they say she get it from her mama. I'ma say you fuck her right. Your body do this bump like dummy in the home. Okay guys, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna go in with my primer from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Pore Gripping Primer. I'm just gonna use that. In this tutorial, I try to include a lot of the blending process. Just basically the process of makeup. So I hope that you guys enjoy that because I feel like, you know, that's what a tutorial should be about. So I'm starting off with my contour. I am an underpainting type of girl. So all my looks lately, I just have been underpainting i'm using the thread beauty um face it stick this is in the shade 240 this is perfect for my skin i love how thread beauty products they just layer on black skin their products were legit made for us um, but the next product that i'm going in with is the hide concealer this is in the shade espresso i'm gonna use that to conceal the areas that i would originally conceal and again um i am under the under painting type of girl so that's all you're gonna be seeing and then I'm going to use my beauty blender to go ahead and blend this out. And I will leave you guys to enjoy the blending process. Again, I hope that you guys like this style of tutorial. Uh, this is holiday look. So I hope that you enjoy. I will come back to let you know the next step that we're getting into. Okay. <music> It started getting patchy on my forehead and then I'm like, why are you doing that? But I will fix that with my foundation. It's good that it's under painting, so I don't have issues. I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Concealer Brush to blend my under eye. I just wanted to use a brush for my under eye just so I could achieve a much fuller, um, you know, fuller coverage type look. Because again, it's Christmassy. You want it to be soft and sweet, but you also want to have that coverage going for you, you know? So I'm just going to use this brush to blend, build my coverage, and then keep it kicking. Then I decided to go back in with my beauty blender to just, you know, softening everything. And then I'm also going to use the contour brush that I had used earlier to just blend out the hash lines, you know, match both colors together so that nothing looks crazy. And then I'm going to go in with my Sephora foundation. This stuff is literally one of my favorite foundations out there. I'm not going to lie. It has such beautiful coverage. <music> And then I'm going to go in with my blush. So I used the Fenty Beauty blush and I decided to pair with the Urban Decay um, cream blush. This stuff is crazy, okay? The combination is just really beautiful. And then I'm going to set my under eye with the Laura Mercier pressed powder i'm sorry loose setting powder what am i saying and that's the loose setting powder that's the holy grail okay for the girls we all know that um, but i'm gonna just press that in set my under eye and then i like to bake and set on days when i'm doing full face so when i'm doing full face makeup look i originally would even use two concealers you know that if you know me you know that but in this video i just didn't do that um, i'm gonna build coverage with um, my baking powder and before I go in, I am also setting my contour product with a Fenty Beauty um, pressed powder in ebony love this stuff and then my brows i filled in my brows with the thread beauty three in one brow styler this stuff is amazing if you haven't tried it out try it out this christmas because you would love it and then i'm just using the height loose setting powder in translucent to you know bake my under eye give me coverage you know i love me a good baked under eye so yeah and then for my eye area i'm just using the urban decay concealer this is going to prep the eye area and make it ready for the eyeshadow <music> And then move on with setting that with my translucent setting powder pretty much the same powder that i have used to bake and then for eyeshadow palettes i'm using my violet voss eyeshadow palette i'm just going to use the brown shade in that you see that i've hit pan because it shows that i use it a lot okay um, but i'm going to start off with the brown just to build some 
coverage around my crease i'm going for a smoky eye type of look like you guys saw in the intro um so the brown is my first basic first point of contact okay um that is going to give me the pigments that i need in that area in my crease and then i'm going to use the black to smoke it out so yep just like that i'm gonna use the black to smoke it out you want to always be very soft when you're blending in your colors especially when you're trying to match two colors together black can very easily go crazy on you that's what i've realized so you always want to be very soft you want to build on the color as you go so your first application shouldn't be harm um but you get what i'm saying i will do a detailed video on the eyeshadow to let you guys know what's up but for the glitter shade i decided to use two different shades this is in my revolution pro palette i love the pigments that you get from this palette i'm just packing on the glitter shade with glitter you legit just want to pack it on till you achieve you know that shimmer or that glitter that you're going for so i'm just going to keep packing it on and just you know putting everything together to make it look nice again it was two glitter shades that i used as you guys saw um so that's the combination that we have it's giving champagne gold which i actually really like that's the vibe that i was going for one thing though i feel like my cat crease was bigger on one eye than another i feel like i shouldn't have said it but i did whatever um but i did that and then now i'm gonna use the brown shade to just clean it out and then you know a little bit of the black shade as well to just smoke it out and then i'm using the dark brown shade for my waterline and just doing all the finishing touches that i have to do for the eye makeup look i'm gonna use some pencil and then i'm gonna use my mascara make it look cute and all of that all right <music> then i'm just gonna dust off the powder that i had used to bake and the skin is looking flawless already okay and then i put on some lashes because this look deserves some lashes and then i'm gonna set my face with the juvia's place um setting powder i almost lost my thoughts over there but yes this is just gonna set everything together and then i'm just highlighting with revolution pro gel highlighter as well no this is from siate london oh my goodness i am so sorry this is from siate london it's their gel dewy gel highlighter it's really beautiful and then i'm gonna go ahead and line my lip with a dark brown lip pencil this is like almost black brown i've been loving this lately it gives you such a nice like dark brown lip liner such like 90 vibe 90s vibe which is really cute in my opinion um but i'm gonna just smudge that out with a brush just so that it doesn't look so black and then i went ahead to use the huda beauty it's a huda beauty nude lip pencil and i just want to say that i've never really thought to use this by itself as like a lippy and it's really cute okay i like it i like the vibe i like it as a base for my lip glosses so i'm just gonna use that for right now And then I'm going to top it up with my lip gloss from Maybelline. This is from Maybelline. This is pretty much the one lip gloss that I always use. So you guys already know. This is their lifter gloss. I like it. It's their nude lifter gloss in the shade Topaz. It's my go-to. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Evan Decay All Nighter. And this is pretty much the final look. <laughs> the short hair is giving. My jewelry is just popping left, right, front, and center. I love how everything is sitting. Comment below if you have any questions. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one okay Mwah. bye